We all love a good party, but how about one that takes over an entire town? And it's complete with mud pits, cycling tracks, live music, and fried food. Now that's a party. I'm Rhea Rossi Boot. And I'm Chad Boot. From there, Stephen Human will be flying high as he previews one air show that lets you interact with history like few places on Earth. Last but not least, Reese Stein is fishing with some very special kids who are learning about the thrill of reeling in the big one. Own the outdoors now with At Your Leisure. driving out along Highway 40 this morning, and there were all these cars rushing by us, and we went, well, where's the fire? Now we know. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Maria Rossi Booth, and we are in a parade at the Uinta Basin in celebration in Roosevelt, Utah, and this is the 45th year of this tremendous tradition that they have to celebrate History, culture, community pride. Industry, everything that they have to offer. It's awesome. So it is a it is a multiple day celebration. They have got sports and athletic events. They've got this parade. Their pool's open for free for everybody. It's just, it's just a great big day for all the people who live out in the Uinta Basin to get together and go, hey, life's pretty cool. Here. It is a celebration of life in this, in this basin. And really, you know, they say the best thing about the basin is the people, and I believe it. That's true. So right now, we want you to meet some of those people and find out a little bit about what this event really consists of. UBIC is the abbreviation for Uinta Basin in Celebration. It's a celebration that takes course over three days in the park, but it lasts for a week long. We do many various events. We have a 5K, we have a 10K, we have kids triathlon, adults triathlon. We also have free swim in the park. We have arts in the park for the kids. We do yoga in the park first thing in the morning every day. We have an amazing fun time. And at the end of the event, we put on a free concert in the park. This year, we're having the Swan Brothers come in and they're gonna be open with Charlie Jenkins. This year, we had 86 contestants in our parade and it was an awesome showing. We had queens from across the basin, from Vernal to Duchesne. I think it's communi community involvement. Your friends are all here, your families are here. Um, you, you, you see things that you don't see every day of the year. And she loves the bagpipes that are coming by right now. We have a UBIC softball tournament going on. We have a new bike park that we just added. That was a new entrance this year. We have a little bike track that we had kids races on this year. It was awesome. You know, it's good, clean fun. It's good, clean fun, good, clean entertainment. It's just a family atmosphere. It's, it has good mountains here close by. You lots of fishing and hunting. And... It's a good place. Raising the family has been wonderful here. It's been good. You know what? It sounds like it's a small town event, but we try to put on a big show to make everybody have a great time. The Phil and the family that we have out here as a community makes it an event worthwhile coming. Whether you're coming just to boat for the weekend, make sure you come over and have a, have a chance to come to the UBIC. Well, I have to agree what the other Chad said is that this is a great opportunity for people to come out and experience a lot of hometown flavor, and there's nothing like it. Now, we are about to make big hop, hoppy floppy hats. Because we're all kids at heart. That, oh are boy, we are we? Absolutely. <laughs> So, do you like my hat? I do like your hat. Oh, good. Do you I like, like your, my hat. I can't kiss you under all of that. Yes, you can. Oh. Okay. That's that's R-rated there. <laughs> <laughs> Rhea, Rhea rated, of course. There you go. Uh, hey, listen, we got to go to our travel adventure, and we're going to be flying high at the Wendover Air Show. Right now, I am in the air. 
I am at the Windover Air Show, and I am flying with the Great Bus TV. And this is an amazing experience of flying over the salt flats, over the surrounding mountains. There's a lot of acrobatic shows going on here at the, at the air show, and it's really something that you need to come and experience. I'm going to tell you all the ins and outs of the show today for At Your Leisure, so just stay where you are, you're really going to enjoy this. Wendover Air Base is one of the most historic spots in the West, particularly for those with any sort of World War II knowledge. One of the best things about the base is that they still give tours and you're encouraged to go beyond just looking at the history. This is a place where your experience is tactile. Well, when it comes to their annual air show held every September, that fact remains. My favorite part about this Wendover Air Show is the fact that this is a real hands-on air show. This is one where the kids get to get up to the aircraft, meet the crew, actually talk to people, get on the airplane, see what it can, you know, talk to them and see what it's all about and really have a hands-on experience, which is what really takes that passion for flying and turns it into a lifelong love or even a dream of doing it and then maybe even leads to them being a pilot. The entire air show is a celebration of aviation and military history. Presentations show off some of the tools of the trade while veterans give personal accounts of not only the weapons they used, but the memories of brothers lost on foreign soil. These moments of peaceful contemplation quickly change the feeling of the event into something akin to spiritual. It's strange to say that when the roar of engines and crowds are a constant backdrop to the air show, but it's true nonetheless. The main selling point at Wendover is, of course, the aerial displays. Pilots come from across the country to participate, and you have a little bit of everything from old school trick planes to F 16s screaming across the sky. The skill of the pilots that you're seeing out here today I mean, we've got single team demonstrations like the F 16 that's just taken off right now. What's really cool about that, instead of you know, a, a demonstration team where you're seeing some awesome you know, uh, maneuvering between you know, opposing aircraft, things like that, and certainly some nice formations. The thing that's so great about single team demo is that you're seeing the aircraft demonstrated as if you were being sold to someone. You see everything this aircraft is capable with, with the exception of going up into the, the high mock speeds that it can do. Well, here at the Wendover Air Show, it's not just about planes. You have tanks, you have armored personnel carriers, all kinds of vehicles dating far, as far back as World War II here, and you can get right up and close and personal. You're not going to be able to hold one of these bad boys and you're at a museum. We just saw the Batmobile. We got we to track that down. Let's go. Come on, faster! All right, a few years ago, I had the opportunity to stand next to the 60s Batmobile. And now, here I am, next to the 1989 Batmobile. This is a sweet car. Maybe they'll let me drive it. All right, well, I found the plane that I'm going to take out. This is an F-16. And after, after looking at all these planes, maybe they think that I have enough experience to fly this bad boy. I don't know. Probably not. The C-17. This is huge. You see them in the movies but you don't really get the scale of stuff like this until you're actually inside of one. I mean, it's amazing. Now, for those of you who are looking for a different kind of adventure, say on the off-highway trails out here, you won't be disappointed either. Tooele County has taken pains to offer trail access from one end of the Salt Flats to the other, with routes that take off right out of Wendover and hit some of the lesser known areas of the state. This is still a wild and unexplored landscape one worth discovering, particularly as the temperatures begin to drop in the coming weeks and months. And planning a trip in conjunction with the air show, that's a win across the board. The ability to strap yourself into a C-17 or take a ride in a personnel transport is what makes the experience at the Wendover Air Show such a memorable one. History is so often found behind glass, and it's hard to feel an emotional connection to the events and objects that shaped our world. Out here, that's not a problem. The airbase itself is a living historical monument where the past and present walk by each other in the halls every day. It's something special when you see the two interact, and the Wendover Air Show is the perfect opportunity to do just that. The event will be held Saturday, September 9th in Wendover, Utah, and everyone is invited to attend. For more info or to schedule a tour, check out wendoverairbase.com. For At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen Hume. There's a little place on a Utah map 
Where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. In the basin with the Ute Reservation Skin starvation That Duchesne County life Join at your leisure the West's number one outdoor adventure show and Stebbins Recreation for the last big motorcycle ride of the season. It's the 8th annual Red, White and Road. Join us for the trek along Highway 12 in Central Utah September 15th and 16th. Twist the throttle for one of the most amazing rides anywhere in the country. Register at AYLTV.com for $50 and get lunch, a gourmet Dutch oven dinner, event t-shirt, and a chance to win huge prizes. The 8th Annual Red, White & Road, September 15th and 16th in Tour, Utah. Sign up now at AYLTV.com. Summertime. And now it's even better because summer is free at Ray City RV. That's right. Purchase a trailer or motorhome from Ray City. Pay nothing till October. Over $10,000 off. Time to buy is now. Summer's free at Ray City RV. Back to At Your Leisure, I'm Darren Kinder, and our product review today is the new Sparks Tricks. And this machine is kind of an entry-level machine, but it's got a ton of really cool things on it to make it more of a play toy, where you can go out and pop wheelies and spin brodies and do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. So let's check it out. Now the Trix is like most of the other Sparks, and that is that it has a plastic hull and deck on it. And what's really neat about this is if you happen to smash this thing in a little bit right here, you can just go buy a new piece for it. So all the pieces are replaceable at a much more affordable cost. And one of the things that's really cool on the Trix is this adjustable handlebar. You just drop that down a little bit and then you can run these handlebars up three inches more. So if you're standing on it doing tricks or whatever, you can put it up tall. If you want to bring it down for more comfort riding, you can do that as well. This machine does also have what's called their IBR system on it. And what that does is that it adjusts the bail on the back of the machine to give it reverse and also be able to brake with it. So now the IBR, which is their brake and uh, reverse package, you can order it on any one of the Sparks machines, but it comes standard on this Trix machine. Now the machine also comes with uh, sponsons on it, as you can see here, and they're adjustable. And what's nice about those, if you really want the machine to turn tight, you can drop them down, but if you want it to be a little more relaxed ride, a little softer ride, you can bring them up a little bit. And another neat feature on the machine is the VTS. And that allows the boat to be able to trim out like any other boat out there, and it helps with speed and power. But the biggest part of it is it really helps you pop wheelies. And it also has a small jockey box right here that you can put like sunglasses and other little things in there to get you through the day. Now the machine comes with their intelligent throttle control system on it and it makes it so it's a lot easier to pull, it doesn't take a lot of weight, and so your hand doesn't get fatigued riding all day. Now one thing that's really cool about all the Sparks machines is that they have closed cooling on them. That means your engine has coolant running through it instead of lake water. When you have aluminum motors and all of that, it's a lot better to have coolant running through them. Well, if you want to check out one of these new Sparks Trix machines, or any one of the Sparks or Sea-Doo machines, Get up to 80 Triple S in West Haven and check them out. They'll be glad to show you all the different models. They have them anywhere from $52.99, and these Trixes are only $72.99, and that's a heck of a deal for all the features you get on this machine. Well, I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time. Our competitor claimed that their product has more horsepower than our Sea Dew Spark. What they didn't mention is that theirs weighs 170 pounds more. So we conducted a highly scientific study to find out how that extra weight affects performance. Davey? The extra 170 pounds of our competitor has a noticeable effect. The Sea Dew Spark. Lighter, quicker, and more agile. <sighs> Look south to adventure. Look south to beauty. Look south to San Juan County. Out here, the road goes on forever, 
and what you'll find will change how you see the world. Climb on your OHV and discover forgotten landscapes and vistas that challenge the imagination. From Blanding and Monticello to the cliff faces of Monument Valley, we're open and ready for you to explore. San Juan County, Utah's Canyon Country. If you believe life starts where the blacktop ends, if the power of an engine makes your heart race, don't settle for anything less than Polaris Razor, the ultimate off-road vehicle. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, and unmatched agility, all perfectly combined to help you chase down what matters most. Polaris Razor, we fuel your freedom. Too often we find ourselves in shoes like these, or these. Wouldn't it be nice to change into something more like this, or this? How about these? Put on whatever shoes you prefer and come to Beaver County. We have exactly the adventure you need to put under them. So the next time you want to change out of these, come to Beaver County where you can jump into a pair of these. Beaver County, Utah, lace up for adventure. Welcome back to At Your Leisure at the Uinta Basin in celebration. And I tell you what, kids have had one heck of a summer here in the Uinta Basin because of this. Yeah. It's the passport. Now, a whole bunch of businesses got together with the community and they started this thing right at the end of the school year. So the kids yeah. do an outdoor or a summertime activity, go to one of these businesses that's a sponsor, gets a stamp. The stamps get turned in here. What you get is a whole bunch of tickets for all the stamps you got filled. And, the, and it's just adorable. All the toys that they can win, like the book, the books, just stuff that kids would use every day. It's, this is just so special, so special. So why did this program get started? We need to find out a little bit more about the Passport program. It has been an entire summer of Passport to Duchesne County fun. This is about helping kids get out in the community, visit new places, and do new activities. Be healthy, be active, and do things as a family. And that was the whole premise behind the Passport program. And so the kids were asked to go in businesses and uh, do an activity before they went and then just show a picture on their phone. Thank goodness for new technology it's made these kinds of things possible. Everything from chalk art to making an airplane out of a newspaper to daydreaming and coming up with a story to having a pirate party. There was 52 fun activities that took uh, students throughout our county. I thought it was really cool. A great way for kids to get outside and, and get away from the TV and you know, just do different things that they may not have normally been doing. Uh, it's not been too hard. Uh, you know, we just had to get time together and, and especially when the tickets and stuff for Duchesne or the stamps. Um, we just had to make a day of it and we did it as a family and it was fun. Uh, it was just really good time. We have seen these kids come in with big smiles and so excited and loving our counties and cities. And that just does my heart good and it makes me so happy for them to know that today is kind of that, it's the finale, it's the big party. And they've been working all summer for it. You know, I think the community ones where the, they had to clean up and, and or help a neighbor, I think those were the most rewarding ones. We have got literally thousands of dollars worth of prizes that have been donated because of the sponsorships of this passport, our businesses. And uh, I think we're gonna have double the crowd, which we'll just have to figure out how to do it bigger and better next year. So you can see this is a community that puts kids at the center of things with this big summer passport program. And by the way, we're at one of the places you go to get a sticker. This is the Aquatic Center. Just opened up a new pool. And Rhea, where's your swimsuit? Uh, well, I, apparently I didn't get the memo that we were going to be doing something at the pool because I'd have it on right now and I'd be on that lazy river. This is the padding on this is know, amazing. Cool? It's like marshmallow. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's like it's it's an ideal thing because you you can't bump your head on the bottom very hard. Right. So and we it, have our chicken fights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they've got all kinds of fun kid activities out here. The lazy river with a current in it, uh, and they've got they've got this play area that'll squirt you, splash you, and fill yeah. you up. 
And this is free swim for three hours. They let you come in for free. It's just that, amazing. The truth, they even have longer hours for sweet, free swim on the inside pool, which also has toys in it. Yeah. It's a really great place to see. Well, right now it's time for us to turn our attention to our weekly trailhead adventure. Now, we thought we'd done a pretty good job of finding something unique, but Reese, I know, will top us off. Brought to you each week by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at Salem Pond, where hundreds of youngsters with disabilities are getting a rare opportunity to bait a hook, wet a line, and catch a fish. Lauren Stringham's wheelchair is no obstacle when it comes to catching fish. Not today, for sure. No way! So cool, you're holding it. The smile on Lauren's face says it all. Now in his 25th or 27th year, founding sportsman Kevin Pritchett and his brother Mike aren't quite sure which, and from either 15 or 16 kids that first year, again they differ, to 1,500 or 1,700 today, depending on which brother you talk to, the annual fishing day for disabled students is a huge hit. Well, it means everything to the kids. You talk to these uh kids in the schools that are involved and they look forward to this. They get to go do a few other things, but it's sort of inside the box. This is outside the box. They get to come outside, experience the outdoors, and do something that's that's different for them. It, it, it changes a few of them's lives. They feel they've accomplished something. For many, it's the first time they've ever gone fishing, let alone felt the thrill of that tug on the line. Is this your first <laughs> fish? No, that's the second one. I got, second one, huh? I got two of them. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources brings the fish 2,000 rainbow trout from the Springville Hatchery. Dozens of volunteers from companies such as Cabela's, Home Depot, King Camo lend a hand to ensure each kid brings in at least one fish. And they make sure the youngsters only do what they're comfortable doing. Here, you want to hold him? Hold both hands out like this. And now hold it. Grab him. He's like, uh, no. He says, ah! Just feel it. He's very slippery. Fill him. He won't get you. Here, like this. Here, I'll hold his head. There's his back. Oh, good job. See, like that. Bella Singer from Springville Junior High shows off her third fish of the day. It's very fun. Why? Because you can eat it and have fun <laughs> with it. What's it like bringing it in? <laughs> It's magical. It's magical for volunteer Gavin Beckstrom as well, especially when Good Phoenix job, Morris Phoenix. of Salem Junior High lands the trophy of the day. It's what, fun it? helping the kids. Some kids haven't done this before. It's cool watching how their reaction. <laughs> Mike Pritchett says the children look forward to the outing months in advance and always bug their teachers, when are we going to go fishing? He says catching a fish enhances their self-esteem and confidence levels. Kevin says they're just passing on to these disabled children the outdoor fun they take for granted. I, I love to fish and hunt, and I'll never catch a fish big enough to get some excitement these kids just get for pulling in one fish. Macy's and Fresh Market provide the groceries for the kids' lunch. Reese Stein at your leisure at Salem Pond. Summertime. And now it's even better because summer is free at Race City RV. That's right. Purchase a trailer or motorhome from Race City. Pay nothing till October. Over $10,000 off. Time to buy is now. Summer's free at Race City RV. If you get up early to get more done, if you believe hard work makes you stronger, don't settle for anything less than the hardest working, smoothest riding side-by-side -side ever built. Polaris Rangers help you haul more, pull more, dump more and make more of your free time when the work is done. Polaris Ranger, like you, we're driven to do more. Join At Your Leisure, the West's number one outdoor adventure show and Stebbins Recreation for the last big motorcycle ride of the season. It's the eighth annual Red, White, and Road. Join us for the trek along Highway 12 in Central Utah, September 15th and 16th. Twist the throttle for one of the most amazing rides anywhere in the country. Register at AYLTV.com for $50 and get lunch, a gourmet Dutch oven dinner, event t-shirt, and a chance to win huge prizes. The eighth annual Red, White, and Road, September 15th and 16th in Torrey, Utah. Sign up now at AYLTV.com.
faster, pull harder, and leave everyone else behind. With an impressive 154 horsepower, combined with 113 foot-pounds of tire spinning torque, the Maverick X3 absolutely rockets off the line, going from zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds. All thanks to a turbocharged, intercooled Rotax ACE engine. So get ready to wait for everyone else to catch up. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are here at the UBIC celebration. And Rhea, I want to know the answer to a really important question. How come it is every time we come to one of these events, we end the show eating something? <laughs> It's just so hard to resist. I've been eating my way through this entire event. <laughs> like every time I turn, she's lost somewhere. Like, <laughs> Look a, what I got. I'm <laughs> in a food tent. <laughs> Any, anyway, uh, we have a calendar of events that's worth paying attention to. First off, from August 31st to September 4th, we have in St. Anthony at the Sand Dunes the AD Triple S Sand Dune Invasion, which will be a lot of fun if you want to get out and run the sand dunes and take a break from the usual places you go. And then on September 9th in Tooele County at the Wendover Airfield, it's going to be the Wendover Air Show. That is awesome, you don't wanna miss that. Tons of horsepower out there. Yeah. And speaking of horsepower, we're hitting the road again with our friends at Stedmas for the annual Red, White, and Road Motorcycle Ride. You ready? You bet I am. This year is going to be on September 15th and 16th down in Torrey, Utah. And as of right now, you can go and register online at AYLTV.com. We have so much fun every year, and we just hope to see everyone down there. You know, beautiful scenery, the best company you could ask for. Aww. And uh, plus, we're going to feed you a home-cooked meal, so to speak. You know, it's going to be like big time. So get your bikes ready for this Southern Utah adventure. Well, right now, we've got a contest winner for you. This is our lucky winner of the week. Congratulations to this owner of this truck. License plate Z586BF. We're giving you a getaway to Lizzie's and Charlie's. Enjoy two nights in one of their comfy little cabins and a side-by-side -side rental to explore the beautiful Mary's Vale, Utah trails. But you gotta call us right now. Well, you got a little while, but you gotta call us at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Oh man, you guys are so lucky. Well, right now it's time for us to take a look at next week's show. In seven days, we'll be riding in the hills above Manti, Utah, and discovering an off-road jamboree that stands out among its event brethren. What makes this one different? Chad and Rhea will show you. Then Zach Cipriano sets his sights on the remote desert as he hikes one southwestern area that proves why you need to get off the highway and explore. See you here in one week. Well, everybody, that's all we got today. I want to thank Duchesne County. Chad and I both at your leisure does for inviting us out here. This was an incredible day. You got to get out here next year. That's true. An adventure has front row seats. <laughs> yeah. It's just up to you to go out and grab it. We'll see you next week on At Your, your Leisure. Show. All right, Charlie Jenkins. And then I'm out.